This is the African Campfire Stories podcast. This podcast is dedicated to the telling of African history stories and events. Should you pick up anything we might get wrong, or if you just want to offer suggestions, or if you just want to contact us, please leave us a comment on our website, www.africancampfirestories.com. You can also leave us a comment on our social media pages, on Twitter, African Campfire Stories, on Facebook, African Campfire Stories. This podcast is also available on major streaming platforms including Apple, Spotify, Google Podcast, YouTube, and Player FM. African History Quickies Episode 2 Bamum Writing Systems of Cameroon This is our second episode of African History Quickies. To find out more about what our African History Quickies programming is all about, please listen to African History Quickies Episode 1 Nubia vs. Egypt. Now, on to today's episode, the territory of present-day Cameroon was first settled during the Neolithic era. This is the New Stone Age, which began 12,000 years ago. Some of the longest inhabitants of Cameroon are groups such as the Baka, also known as the Pygmies. Migration by Bantu people into eastern, southern, and central Africa are believed to have originated from Cameroon about two millennia ago. The Sao culture arose around Lake Chad, around 500 CE. It was followed by the Kenem, and then the Bomu Empire. Other kingdoms then started to develop in western Cameroon. One of those was the Kingdom of Bamum. This was a pre-colonial kingdom with its ancient capital city in Fumban. It was founded in the 1300 CEs by the Mbum people, a Bantu ethnic group from northeastern Cameroon, the Mbum descend from the Tika of the Cameroon Highlands, who are derived from the Mbum of the Delbe, aka Ngaundere. See the accompanying map of Cameroon. The 17th king of Bamum, Ibrahim Joya, gifted his people the Bamum script. See accompanying photo of the script. It wasn't an easy process to create a new writing system. It was created in an evolving series of six scripts over a 14-year period, from 1896 to 1910. The script was developed further in 1918, when Njoya had copper sort casts for printing the script. Unfortunately, the script was overtaken by European colonization, which introduced English and the French language in Cameroon. In 1931, King Njoya was exiled by the French to Yaoundé, where he would die in 1933. The French destroyed indigenous schools, and the printing press was smashed. These actions, coupled with King Joya's exile, led the script to fall into disuse. However, the Bamoom Scripts and Archives project is engaged in attempts to rescue the script. The Bamoom Scripts and the Archives project, based at the Bamoom Palace, is engaged in a variety of initiatives concerning the Bamoom script including collecting and photographing threatened documents, translating, and in some cases hand-copying documents, creating a fully usable Bamum computer font for the inventory of documents, and creating a safe environment for the preservation and storage of documents. Thanks to unsung heroes like Njiu Mauru Nchare and his team, who is a co-director of this project, we need more Africans like this you can visit the web project on the web address provided in the episode summary and find out how you can provide assistance. The African Campfire Stories podcast has previously released a two-episode series called How History is Written. It is about history sources. The above story of the destruction of the Bamum language and history records resonates with the essence of those two episodes. Those episodes explain what happens to the understanding of history when historical records are lost. Before we leave you today, here are two trivia facts about Cameroon. 1. Portuguese sailors reached the coast of what is now Cameroon in 1472 after they saw a lot of ghost shrimp in the Wuri River. They named it Rios dos Camaros, translatable to English as Shrimp River. The word Camaros is where the name Cameroon comes from. 2. The official languages of Cameroon are French and English. The languages of the former colonies of the French Cameroons and the British Cameroons.